Hello students, in this video we will study one interesting property of uh, tangent and normal to ellipse. This is also the reflection property of the ellipse. Consider one standard equation of ellipse x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b. Uh, put this ellipse on uh, coordinate axis. Here we have focus S1 having coordinates a comma 0 focus S2 having coordinates minus a comma 0. Consider point uh, P on the ellipse having coordinates x1 comma y1. Join S1 P and S2 P. Draw normal at point P meeting x axis at point N. The property is that this normal line bisect angle S1 P S2 that means normal is one of the angle bisectors of the lines S1 P and uh, S2 P. Since tangent is perpendicular to the normal, tangent line will be the another angle bisector because uh, angle bisectors of the lines are always perpendicular. Let us prove this property. For that I consider triangle S1 P S2. If I can prove S1 P upon S2 P is equal to S1 N upon S2 N. Uh, then I am through. This is the property of internal angle bisector of triangle. That internal angle bisector divides opposite side of triangle in the ratio of adjacent sides. Okay, now S1 P and S2 P are uh, focal lengths of point P. We have expression for that S1 P is equal to A minus E X1 and uh, S2 P is equal to A plus E X1. Let us get coordinates of point N. For that, uh, I require equation of normal. The standard equation of normal is uh, A square X upon X1 minus B square Y upon Y1 is equal to A square E square. For point N, I put here Y is equal to 0. So, I get uh, X is equal to E square X1. So, coordinates of point N are E square X1 comma 0. Okay. So, S1 n equal to A minus uh, E square X1 and uh, S2 n is equal to A E plus E square X1. If I uh, divide this, I get ratio A minus E X1 over A plus E X1 and uh, this ratio is equal to S1 P upon S2 P. So, using the property of internal angle bisector of triangle, we proved that this normal bisect angle S1 P S2. This also spells the reflection property of the ellipse. If S1 P is uh, incident ray, then uh, S2 P will be uh, reflected ray. Agar is point se incident ray nikal raha hai, ellipse ki surface pe strike kar raha hai, to wo reflect ho ke dusre focus se pass hoga. If this is incident ray, uh, then this will be the reflected ray because uh, this normal bisect angle S1 P S2. The same reflection property we have in hyperbola. Now, let us try one question based on this property. Let us try this question. An ellipse has foci at 9, 20 and 49, 55 and is tangent to x axis. Then find the length of major axis. First, we draw this ellipse. Foci are S1 having coordinates 9 comma 20 and uh, S2 having coordinates uh, 49 comma 55. Ellipse is tangent to x axis. So, we draw this tangent line which is actually x axis. The point of contact is P on the ellipse. We have to find the length of major axis. Here we can use the definition of ellipse that uh, sum of uh, focal radii of any point on the ellipse is uh, 2a where a is uh, length of semi major axis. We write the statement we have uh, S1 P plus S2 P is equal to 2a. The small a is length of semi major axis, but we do not have point P. So, how we get uh, uh, this sum? Kaise nikalenge ye sum? Here we use the reflection property of the ellipse that uh, if S1P is incident ray, then S2P will be reflected ray. 
here tangent is line mirror. So if I take any point on incident ray, say point S1, its image in the line mirror will lie on the reflected ray. Suppose uh, image of point S1 in this line mirror is point uh, Q. So Q will lie on this reflected ray. Points S2, P and Q will be uh, collinear. Here triangle S1, P, Q is isosceles triangle because tangent is uh, angle bisector of angle uh, Q, P, S1 and the tangent line is perpendicular to S1, Q. So this is isosceles triangle. So we have S1, P is equal to uh, P, Q. These two lengths are equal. So here I can replace S1, P by P, Q. So I have S2, P plus P, Q is equal to 2A. Uh, this is uh, S2, Q. So length of major axis is equal to S2, Q. Now we can get the coordinates of point Q. Uh, image of uh, this point in x axis will be 9 comma minus 20. Now using distance formula we have uh, S2 Q square is equal to 49 minus 9 whole square plus 55 plus 20 whole square. Okay. This is 1600 and this is uh, 5625 uh, this is equal to 7225 uh, this is perfect square of uh, 85 so we have uh, length sq is equal to 85 this is equal to uh, length of major axis we can also get the eccentricity of the ellipse we can get distance s1 s2 uh, distance s1 s2 is equal to uh, 2a okay uh, so eccentricity is equal to s1 s2 over uh, 2a the value of 2a is 85 so this is very interesting question based on reflection property of ellipse